<clears throat> Hello, Zach Hample here with you to wrap up an epic video series. When you think of the best movie franchises of all time, what comes to mind? Star Wars, Rocky, Harry Potter, maybe James Bond? Well, I'm here to tell you that my autographed ticket stub collection video definitely belongs in that mix. This is part four. There have been three other videos leading up to this. And if you haven't yet seen them, I'm just gonna shake my head at you. I've linked to all three of those videos in the description for this one, so definitely check them out. If not now, then after you watch this. Now, in the first three videos, we combed alphabetically through my collection, from the Angels through the White Sox. Now, in part four, we're gonna wrap it up with the Yankees, but it's not just Yankees players that have signed my Yankees ticket stubs. As I've been mentioning, I also get visiting teams players to sign them as well. So all kinds of names, teams represented here, plus a few bonus tickets at the end. Minor leagues, spring training, but only guys who have played Major League Baseball. So there's some big names in there too. So this is the part, as I've been saying, where we switch camera angles. You're gonna see me reach around the camera and start flipping through to give you nice close-up looks. So here we go. Jim Leyritz right here to get things started as we kick it all the way back to 1992 at the old Yankee Stadium. And check this out. We got guys on the back. This dude, as a starting pitcher in 1990, won 27 games. Can you believe that? Bob Welsh for the Oakland A's. Of course, he won the Cy Young Award that year. This is Jeff Parrott. And as I have mentioned in the first three parts of my autograph series, I do sometimes get stubs signed front and back. Here we just have two guys on the front, Steve Fry and Tim Fortunio. Not too happy about how this was unevenly torn by the ticket taker back in the days when tickets actually got torn. Here we have Ricky Bonus, and this glorious signature in the thinner pen is Jamie Navarro. That's practically a work of art right there. Here's a lot of pitching talent on one ticket. We have Pat Henkin, who won a Cy Young Award. We have David Wells, who pitched a perfect game. Both of these guys had 20 win seasons. This is Dave Weathers. And on the back, this is kind of interesting, and I need your help. We have four guys who've signed. This is Mike Timlin. This, I believe, is Greg Cadere. And I don't know who these two guys are. I think they signed it in this direction. Does that look right? So... Sometimes I'm just not sure at the time who signed, or maybe I did know, but I forgot to write it down back in the early days, and I just forgot over the years. So if anybody out there watching this, especially my buddy Georgia Morris, who's collected tens of thousands of autographs, if anybody knows who signed this ticket, please let me know, leave a comment, and if I get the answer, I will paste it into the description for this video. Now, this name right here is David Cohn a former Cy Young Award winner. And other names on the front, we have Felix Jose, Rusty Meacham, and Hippolito Pichardo. And on the back, we have Mark Gubiza, who was also a 20-game winner. So lots of pitching talent early on here in my Yankees ticket stub collection. This is Randy Velarde. I guess he signed it upside down. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Now we have Ricky Bonus again, Jamie Navarro again, and Graham Lloyd. And on the back we have Josias Manzanillo, very, very friendly guy, pitched on the Mets for a chunk of his career. Here is a Hall of Famer, Robin Yount. Wish I had gotten him in a blue Sharpie, so I'll hold it up closer so you can see. He was inducted in 2018, 3,000 hits, two-time MVP, so here's Mike Timlin and Mark Icorn. Who even knows which way they signed it? This is just, it's really sloppy. They're gonna start looking better as we go. This is Bob Wickman, the former closer. This is Jeff Treadway and Wayne Kirby. Here is Albert Bell, five-time All-Star. He was just the premier slugger for the Indians in the mid-1990s. George Samus, is that how you pronounce it? T-S-A-M-I-S. Another Hall of Famer right here, beautiful signature, Kirby Puckett, inducted in 2001. Now here we have front and back. We have Mark Leiter and Bill Kruger on the front, and on the back we have 
John Doherty. Here's Bob Wickman again. This is the father of Prince. This is Cecil Fielder, who had a 50 home run season for the Tigers in 1990. All right, front and back again. Mark Williamson, Mark McLemore, and Arthur Rhodes. And on the back, we have, signed every which way, Brady Anderson and John O'Donohue right over here. Brady Anderson also had a 50 home run season for the Orioles in 1996. This is Tony Kubek. Unfortunately, he signed it upside down. This is a Hall of Famer, you guys. Rookie of the Year, three-time World Series champion. He was inducted in 2009 as an announcer. Glad to have him. This is Greg Olson. We have Danny Tartable a couple of times here. I guess he signed that one upside down. This is Jim Abbott, who famously only had one hand. And just a few weeks after he signed this, he pitched a no-hitter. And unfortunately, I was not there. This is Pat Kelly. This is Jeff Montgomery, who had over 300 saves with the Royals. Here we have George Bell on the front. And on the back, we have Jose Antigua. This is Pat Mahomes, which got horrendously fingerprinted and smudged. That's kind of a bummer. This is Shane Mack. And here is a Hall of Famer. Someone inducted in 2019. Seven-time All-Star, 478 saves, which for a while was the most all-time. Lee Smith. This is Paul Asenmacher. We have Bob Wickman again and again. And then we have a couple of this guy. This is Luis Polonia. I was always a fan of him. I like those fast slap hitters. What can I say? This is Danny Tartable again. This is Paul Gibson. Here we have Terry Mulholland on the front. And we have Paul Gibson again on the back. And here's our 27 game winner again, Bob Welsh. Slide these down just a little bit. Here is Bobby Mercer, five-time All-Star. He began and ended his career with the Yankees and went on to be a longtime broadcaster. This is Luis Polonia again. This is Tony Fossis, who signed it upside down and wrote a Bible verse on there. Here is Ken Ryan, nice big signature. Frank Rodriguez. This one says Zatch. God bless, Aaron Seely. I don't understand why it is so difficult to spell Zach, Z-A-C-K, when I'm just standing there telling them to spell it Z-A-C-K, but anyway, all right. Here is Aaron Seely again, and on the back we have Frank Rodriguez again. Here is Gar Finvold. I doubt anybody watching this video has heard of him, except for maybe my friend Jerry. I met him at Bucky Dent's baseball school way back in the day. He was an instructor, so that's how I got him. This right here is Charles Nagy. And check this out. This is pretty fun. Here's our Hall of Famer again, Lee Smith. I got him on the front and on the back on the same ticket, along with Mark Eichhorn right there. Lee Smith was just signing and signing and signing, and he wasn't even looking up. And you can see I got him yet again the next day, May 21st. He was just really friendly, and he didn't seem to mind signing multiples. So I was like, well, I mean, why not just keep getting him? I think he already had 400 saves at the time. So clearly I made a good choice. Here's Al Leiter, two-time All-Star. He pitched for 19 years in the majors and pitched for both the Mets and the Yankees. This is Mike McFarlane. This is Mike Stanley. And two years before he signed this... He hit a home run to right field at Yankee Stadium, which was my very first in-game home run ever. This is Daryl Hamilton. We have Greg Vaughn, who hit 50 home runs for the Padres in 98. We have Doug Henry and Jamie Navarro. This is Bobby Mercer again. And check out this one right here. This is Bob Shepard, the longtime public address announcer for the Yankees, nicknamed the Voice of God. Lived to be 99 years old. Here's my impression of him. Ready? Now batting, 
Number two, Derek Jeter. Number two. So, yeah, just an absolute legend. I feel like he could almost be in the Hall of Fame, but not yet. Maybe someday. So moving along, we have Mark Aker. We have Bob Welch, again, Steve Ontiveros, and Mark Aker, again. We have Jim Corsi on this one, and Mark Aker, again. We have Danny Tartable here, and perhaps I should point out that this dude had five seasons with 100 or more RBIs. Pretty impressive. This is Phil Leftwich, and we have front and back here. This is Eric Hansen, and then on the back... We have Frank Rodriguez, Jeff Pierce, and Vaughn Eshelman. How about that? Again, with the front and back, we have Bob Scanlon and Scott Carl. And then on the back, we have Jose Valentin, David Hulse, Al Reyes, and Jose Mercedes. Okay, here we go. It's big boy time. Cal Ripken Jr., Hall of Famer, inducted in 2007. There's just not enough time to talk about Cal Ripken Jr., but he is my all-time favorite player, and I am so, 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 so happy to have this. Here's another Hall of Famer, a very recent inductee, Harold Baines, six-time All-Star. Mike Mussina, another new inductee to the Hall of Fame, five-time All-Star. Mussina won seven gold gloves. I mean, there's just so much more that I could say about all of these guys, but... Three Hall of Famers back to back to back. Love it. Sterling Hitchcock, who has a Hall of Fame name. I got him twice. Another Hall of Famer. Look at this. We have Dennis Eckersley, inducted in 04. He's just one of two guys ever to have both a 20-win season and a 50-save season. John Smoltz was the other. Here's Mark Aker yet again. Jim Corsi, and on the back we have... Mike Bordick, or as Bob Shepard would say, Mike Bordick. <laughs> I always remembered how he said that name. It amused me. Here is the only player ever in Major League history to be unanimously inducted to the Hall of Fame, Mariano Rivera. You know, he holds a record for games finished, along with the record for saves. He finished 952 games in his career. That's pretty cool. 13-time All-Star, 5-time World Series champion. I mean, wow, right? Here we have Solomon Torres. We have Alex Rodriguez on the front. And we also have on the back Ron Villone. I mean, you got to get Ron Villone in there with A-Rod, right? A-Rod, I got him once. I got him twice. I got him three times. You can see that the Yankees were playing Seattle and A-Rod was a teenager and he was the number one prospect. So I was like, sure, I'll just keep getting A-Rod. 14-time All-Star, 10 Silver Sluggers, three MVPs, and most importantly, a member of the 3000 Hit Club. Thanks, A-Rod. Jeff Ware signed this one. He also signed this one along with Shannon Stewart right here. Travis Fryman, Jose Lima. I got him three times. And I got Felipe Lira once, twice, three times, four times. This is Melito Perez. And ready for another future Hall of Famer? Boom! Unfortunately, it was raining that day, so when Derek Jeter signed this, a raindrop fell right onto his signature, and that is why it got smudged. That breaks my heart, but I did get Jeets in person back in 1995, just when he was getting started. And yeah, I mean, super happy about that. This is Omar Oliveras, who had the distinction of being the only guy to wear his initials as his uniform number. O-O, double zero. That is pretty cool. Here's another front and back job. Jason Hockamy and Patrick Lennon on this side. And over here we have Hippolito Pichardo, David Howard, and Sal Fasano. And coming up next, we have an even prettier signature of Mariano Rivera. I think I got this at the Yankees Clubhouse store in Midtown Manhattan. He was doing a signing and, you know, I went and got him again, because why not? Here we have Juan Gonzalez. I showed him in part one on a Blue Jays stub. He won two MVPs. This is Danny Bautista and Mike Myers on the front. And on the back, we have Jose Lima, 
RIP, very friendly guy. Melvin Nieves, Greg Kegel, and Greg Olson. We have another Hall of Famer. As I mentioned in part one, it's your daddy, Vladdy. Vladimir Guerrero, inducted in 2018. This is Ugeth Urbina. Here is Jeremy Powell. And now as the tickets get smaller, let me slide these up a little bit. We have Josh Towers. We have Calvin Maduro. Homer Bush and Esteban Loaiza on this side. And we have Bob File on the back. This is Adam Pettyjohn and Victor Santos. Tim Hudson. Doug Creek. This is Jack Crescend. Jose Lima again. He was just always signing autographs. He would sit on the edge of the wall in foul territory and just chat with fans and take pictures. Akalino Lopez. Kelvim Escobar. Tim Salmon, who I think holds the dubious distinction of hitting the most home runs ever and never playing in an All-Star game. I know that was true at one point, not sure if it's still true. 299 career home runs. If I'm wrong, leave a comment and set the record straight. This is Octavio Dotel, Scott Shields, Mark Teixeira right here, who's fifth all-time in home runs for switch hitters. We have Mark Kroon and Aaron Cook. This is Joey Gathright, Jeff Devanin, Ted Lilly with an obstructed view. Interesting to see that stamped onto a ticket. I guarantee I didn't sit there. I probably just found this on the ground at some point. We have Freddie Sanchez, Daryl Ward. Here as the tickets change styles, we have Greg Zahn. Bunch of guys here, Nick Green, Ty Wigginton, and Johnny Gomes. We have on this one, Raul Ibanez. I guess he signed it, I can't even tell. Raul, that is just a disgrace to handwriting right there. But nevertheless, he hit over 300 home runs and was an all-star in his career. This is Jabba Chamberlain. And look at this, on a wild card ticket from 2015, I got the commish, Rob Manfred. You can see his signature on a baseball right there how it compares in real life to the stamped version. Kind of interesting. Now that concludes the Yankees, but like I said, I have some bonus tickets coming up. So here we go back to 1994, Astros spring training. Doug Linton, Fernando Vina, Domingo Jean, J-E-A-N, twice. And now we kick it over to the athletics spring training. Dustin Fowler and Chris Davis. Chris Davis has hit 40 home runs three years in a row. And here we have Ryan Dull, Jarrett Martin, and Chad Pinder, just from last year. Expos, spring training. This goes back to 1994. This is David Segui. This right here is Tommy Lasorda. He actually called me a pain in the ass because I got him to sign right before the game started. I snuck down to the dugout, and I would not take no for an answer. And... Eventually, he signed it for me. So, sorry, Tommy, for bothering you, but kind of glad I did because you're a Hall of Famer. Glad to have that. There is a lot of talent on this ticket, a whole lot of talent. And I remember this was the first one I got, Roger McDowell. And I asked him if he could sign it small because I was planning to get a bunch of guys. So he signed it really, really small, almost to troll me. That's a very Roger McDowell thing to do. Also on here, Daryl Strawberry, Brett Butler, Eric Karros, Chan Ho Park. And on the back, because why not, we have Mitch Webster. We have some Mets spring training from 94. This is, can you see that? Kenny Greer. I mean, he pitched 13 major league innings. These are all major league guys, even the ones you haven't heard of. This is Sean Berry. Okay. Padres spring training. We have Davey Lopes. You can see this is hole punched. I'm not exactly sure why. We saw Davey Lopes in part two. He had a 16-year career, stole over 500 bases. This is Joey Hamilton. This is Will Myers, your 2013 AL Rookie of the Year. And we have some minor league stubs, but these are all major league guys who signed. Justin Bogman, okay, and I worked for the Boise Hawks in 1995, so that's why I have all these stubs. 
Troy Percival, who started his pro career with Boise four years before I got this ticket. And so I eventually got him to sign it in the major leagues. He played for Boise in 1991. This is Davey Cruz. He didn't play for Boise, but he was in the Northwest League. This is Brian Cooper. John McNamara, who managed the 1986 Red Sox to the World Series. So I do have players and coaches on here. Trent Durrington again. We saw him in a previous video, the Australian. Jared Washburn, very talented lefty. Troy Percival again. Al Pedrique. Troy Percival again, because why not? I mean, you know, over 300 career saves. And finally, we have two guys on a Rail Riders ticket. That's AAA for the Yankees. The Boise Hawks are short season. Uh, they were affiliated with the California Angels. Now I think they're a Rockies affiliate. So on this ticket, we have G-Man Choi and Rob Refsnyder. And that concludes my collection of 972 ticket stubs, 1178 signatures. How about that? You guys, that was an extravaganza. Four videos about my autographed ticket stub collection. And listen, if you haven't yet seen the first three parts, do yourself a favor, do me a favor, check them out. Again, they're in the description, links that will take you right there. So much good stuff. Now, if you wanna see more good stuff, leave me a comment, tell me your ideas, tell me what videos you wanna see. I'm thinking, might be fun to do one on my lineup cards, right? So many other things, so many other ideas. I'm gonna do these, but sometimes life gets crazy and it takes me a while. Thank you for watching, thank you for being patient, and I'll have more stuff for you coming soon.